What's up people, you are watching The Savage Vibe. Now this vlog is going to be a little bit different. What uh, this vlog is, it's what, now what this vlog is what we call a reading vlog and an update vlog. Now for all of those viewers who have been watching my channel right from the start, you will know that I used to make a lot of book related content and you know like book reviews, book recommendations and so on. I even did a recommendation video on Kevin Hart's book that is I Can't Make It Up and I really really want you guys to see that video because that is one of the best audiobooks that I have ever heard. So yes, please do check it out. But suddenly I took a halt. Now why I took that halt is when I was making those book recommendations videos, I was doing it, you know, in collab with the startup that I had created with my friend that is the label Ripple. And I really wanted to scale that startup in the sense, you know, I wanted to help people read and I, you know, I wanted to go into clothing line and so on. But that kind of failed because I don't know, we had a lot of confusion. The site is still on, so all of you people who are really interested in the indie music and so on, please check out the channel, uh, please check out that website. I will try and leave the links below. But you know, the reading thing never really succeeded. The videos are still there on my YouTube channel, but I was like, I kind of got stuck. I didn't really know what my channel is about and so now in, if you see, if you have observed all of my intros, I mostly speak about you know pro uh, productivity and daily vlogs, podcasts and so on and nowhere have told ki I'll be making book related videos and that's the reason why. Now I really wanted to change this and because in 2019 I made a goal. I was like I will grow I will, and I will help others grow. But to do that, you know, I have to uh, get out of my comfort zone. I have to, you know, do something more. And I can connect with you guys through my YouTube channel. And so this video is really, really important to me. And I hope this, you know, helps and we can do something really amazing together. Now, our plan is for my new startup that I'll be creating with my friends again, is I would like to help uh, you all read. And I would like to make books accessible. Yes, you can order books from Amazon and so on. If you have an Audible subscription, that's amazing. But there are a lot of people I know personally who, you know, uh, find books really expensive. And they would really like, you know, to buy, you know, secondhand books or uh, such books and, and so on. Now for that, I want to make all these books possible. I will go, I will uh, roam places, I will uh, talk to my contacts and so on and I will, you know, distribute these books. So in case if you don't know where to get the specific books that you want, let's say you want Sapiens but you cannot really get it for a good price, I will see and I will distribute that to you. You can order it through our new website or through our Instagram page or so on. Now that's not the only you know aim that I want because now I have the savage wife I want to make a book community I will do it on Goodreads or so on and most of this all of this is the book community and everything is going to be free I've seen a lot of you know book youtubers doing it on Patreon and so on for money but that's not what I really want to do. Now you'll be like, you know, a lot of my friends say or think, or oh, you also, you, you, viewers must be thinking, you know, Ryan is doing so much about reading. He really must like reading. Now, honestly speaking, I hate the process of reading. <laughs> How it goes is like, you know, I like where I get through reading. I like the goal that I attain through reading. I read because I need to seek knowledge, but I hate the process of reading. But I do it because I like that goal that I have set for myself. For example, there are bodybuilders, you know, uh, Mr. Olympia or there are boxers. They are working on their goal. Now, there are a lot of people in that specific batch who must be doing it, who really like to do it because they love fitness. You know, they like doing the workout because it makes them feel alive and so on. They do not care about the goal. They won't care if they... You know, don't become Mr. Olympia or don't, they don't become the champion of the world through boxing or something like that. They're just doing it because they love bodybuilding or boxing or you know running. But there are people like me who you know don't really like the process but they do like the goal that it gives them. It gives them fitness. So if I am into the goal of fitness, I do it. I might not like the process of you know running or and doing cardio but I'm doing it because I know I have to be fit. 
and so on there are there have been legendary athletes who really hated their training process but they did it because they wanted to be the champion of the world and so you know i'm being really honest about it but that's how i want to help you all to read you know at the starting of this month 2020 i had made a goal that i would read four books in a, a month that could be really good at the well However, August first week, I finished reading one book that is Self by Sir Hunt, and it was a good enough book. It was on sales and uh, being a sales broker and so on. It's a good book. Now I was really excited because I finished reading one book in one week. Means I really had the opportunity to fulfill my goal of reading four books in a month. But as the second week started, I started reading Twelve Rules of Life by Jordan Peterson. But I started giving excuses to myself. I don't know was it procrastination. I really don't know what it was. But I was like, you know, this book is really so informative, and you know, I want to spend all of my time and give a lot of detail to this book. I want to give a uh, like. I want to read it with a lot of focus. Maybe it's an excuse. Maybe I don't know what it was. And I was like, you know, for now I'll stop reading that book and I'll start reading some fiction book or so on. But I didn't read any book that second week. Then now we already reached on the third week of August. So I was like, you know, now no, I have to, you know, hit my goals. So I chose two books to read for this month. Uh, for this month, this is Never Split the Difference by Chris Voss. Now Chris Voss is a negotiator, and he was an FBI negotiator, and this whole book is on negotiation. Now personally, I really love negotiation debates and public speaking because that that is one kind of person that I really want to be. I see a lot of wrong in the world, and it doesn't matter which side you're on. If you cannot make good arguments, you are going to get screwed. You are going to lose. So when I see people like Ben Shapiro or Jordan Peterson, I really get fascinated, like how good their charisma is, how good their arguments are, and that's what I really want to learn. So Never Split with the Difference is a book I would recommend for anyone who wants to learn about negotiation. It's a non-fiction book. Pick it up. Now this is Tennyson by Linda La Plant. Now this is my first book, which is like you know, 500 to 600 pages long. Just see this, and I've never read any fiction book or non-fiction book that is so huge. Ah, uh, so what is interesting is that I I was following Soumya's book tip. She's another book tipper that you can follow. Now she gave an amazing reading tip that you know the books which are really lengthy, like you know, 500 to 600 pages long that you are reading. Read it in the first five days of the week. So Monday to Friday, you read this. You know all all your lengthy books, and you can give time to that depending on your reading speed and how many pages you read per day, per hour, so on. Now for the weekends, what you do is you choose smaller books, like you know books which have like two hundred, one fifty to two hundred pages, and you read them. And I really like this tip, so I'm really uh, excited because my friends have gifted me a, a book by Haruki Murakami that is Men and Women. It is a lot of short stories that he has written and compiled, and I'm really excited because I want to see what this uh, Murakami hype that people uh, keep talking about, you know, and that's all around. I think uh, his. I want to really check his writing style, this magical realism that he. that all the uh, you know viewers are talking about so i'm really excited to read that book and the, the books that i have shared with you all like i have read like eight books already and i do write it in uh, my journal this is like i wanted to try bull i wanted to try bullet journal so this is another tip that i would suggest you guys keep a track of books that you read because what happens is when you see the list of books that you have read you will feel inspired you feel like Wow! I've completed eight books. I can complete eight more, and at the end of the year, you might, you know, complete to a twenty, fifty books. It's really possible. There are people who do that, and that's what I want for my audience or my community, the people who talk with me. I want you all to grow with me. So hopefully, I will keep you all updated on the startup that I am creating. This video is a reading vlog. So the goal that I have set for today is I want to read hundred pages of Tennyson, and I want to complete reading one chapter of Never Split the Difference. I read the introduction of the book; it is it was really fascinating and so on. But I want to complete one chapter of Never Split the Wall, and with Tennyson, uh, you know, I started researching about this. My first, uh, you can say, proper crime thriller. 
and I wanted to get into that space of reading. I didn't realize that Linda is actually a really famous author and script writer. She has written a uh, two series if I'm not wrong that is one is Prime Suspects and another is on her character and Prime Suspect is a really famous series uh, that you can watch so I'm really excited because once I finish reading this book I'm going to check out the series related to all these characters because that is something that I really really love <laughs> so I'm really happy about it. So I wanted to take a picture um, of all the books I have for this new Instagram page or business that I'm starting. And I think I kind of messed it up. <laughs> and I think I'm scared that it will fall from this side. At the same time, I think so instead of keeping it here, I should have kept it here so that it gets a good click or like itself. Here at least. These are the two books which I haven't kept. And there are books which I've already read. So I didn't add it in this list. But I don't know how the picture looks. Hopefully it looks nice. It's 7 a.m. and what I have planned is that from 7 to 8 a.m. I'll be reading Tennyson and I want to see how many pages I complete reading so I'll know how much time it will take for me to finish 100 pages. The 100 pages being the goal for reading Tennyson. Then from 8 to 9 I will take a break. Most of all, my Dexter ya kuch series dekega. And from 9 to 10 I'll be reading Never Split the Difference. Now I'm sure that in the one hour time frame I can finish reading Never Split the Difference chapter one. And that was my goal. So I'll have to just look out more. I'll have to just look out for more reading time for Tennyson. So yes, let's start this video. Look behind your back Change the light When the world is getting darker I have a dream Where love's the only side So take my hand Join the army of the okay, so the update is that The original schedule that I had made today Isn't going really as I planned So from 7 to 8 am I read approx 38 pages so now I'll be reading for 30 minutes so I'm I guess it will be like 20 uh, pages that I will uh, read and it's about 12 o'clock I started uh, after 8 o'clock I started cooking uh, uh, what do you say breakfast and then I started watching Dexter and time just flew away and I, and I even took a power nap honestly speaking I, I was feeling really sleepy Maybe I'm, I just started waking up early suddenly, so I, this will take a little bit. So yesterday I could not record the updates of the video and the best part is I completed my goal. Finally I completed my goal. In total I read approx 122 pages. I finished the chapter 1 for Never Split the Difference by Chris Voss and I read 108 pages of Tennyson. So how I did that is I realized that it took me approx 2 hours 40 minutes uh, in total you can say it took me 3 hours to complete reading uh, 100, uh, 108 pages of Tennyson so now I know how long it will take me to read 100 pages now I think so for a different book it might differ because it depends on the fonts it depends on how small or big the chapter is so it you have to keep in mind those aspects but I think so this is a good enough um, analysis for me so I really like this and um, today also I will uh, read more of never split the difference so yes guys I really hope you like this uh, video if you want me to make more such videos and tips uh, if I have to give you tips the way I completed reading 100 pages is that I divided my time into four slots I wanted to do it um, rapidly but because I don't know, I, I obviously I eat dinner, lunch and then work on the other stuff. So then whenever I got time, like 30 minutes or something, I just opened the book and I started reading because I had 100 pages complete. I have been trying to do this from so long and uh, now that it happens, I feel good. So yeah, so you know like the first slot was uh, 7, 6 a.m. to 8, 6 a.m. Second slot was from 12 p.m. to 12, 42 p.m. 
uh, the third slot was from 8 uh, 6 pm to 8 42 pm and the fourth and final slot was from uh, 10 7 pm to 10 32 pm so i just divided my time so this is what you guys can do too in case you have like a specific goal that you want to hit or you can just like you know read uh, one hour every day like keep that time separate for reading so yes